Hi, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you what we are going to be using as a co-sleeper. And this is the At Arms Reach Co-Sleeper. I knew that co-sleeping would be a must for us because of how much my daughter ended up in bed with me. The front side here is adjustable. This side goes up and down whether or not you want to put it next to your bed or have it freestanding. They have two pockets on each side and I just have baby samples in there because I am trying to find somewhere to store them for the moment and baby stuff is overtaking my house. I have some disposable diapers in this side. They're just samples because we really like to cloth diapers so they'll be for emergencies or in those first few days when we get home from the hospital. It has this underneath storage compartment which I may put extra like baby clothes um, to be convenient or some cloth diapers, whatever. Um, this is the piece that hooks to the sides and you slide this plastic square under your mattress so that when you scoot this next to your bed, the co-sleeper is not going anywhere. And I like that it has the little lip on the front so it's not completely against your bed. There's no way the baby can roll onto your bed or in the little bit of crack that would be there between. I do have to say, the one thing I do not like about this is if you want to raise and lower this, um, like, frequently, it's kind of a pain because it's Velcroed and you have to get it just right and getting the snaps back down and getting them secure and everything like that is kind of a pain. I planned to use it as a co-sleeper, so I will probably always have it in my room and when the baby's not sleeping in it or sleeping in my room the baby will be sleeping in something else because it's just a pain. I don't really want to raise and lower this like I showed you here. I didn't want to completely undo it because even just doing what I did can be kind of a pain to get back down and get them snapped. But overall, I don't think that that um, is a huge con. It's just something that's kind of annoying. The sheet that we used on this is a adjustable size bassinet sheet because this is kind of similar to a pack and play but um a ta like a serious bit smaller than a pack and play so like a normal like crib sheet or pack and play sheet just really doesn't work for it but I did find that Amazon has plenty of adjustable bassinet sheets which you can get for like packs of two for twenty dollars which is cheaper than if you would go with this brand's sheet that's meant for it and they're practically the same size so far i really like this co-sleeper obviously we've not used it yet i still have four months until the baby gets here but overall i really do like it it wasn't hard to set up it sets up similar to a pack and play so I think that this is going to be a lifesaver with baby number two and I hope you have enjoyed watching my video and I hope you have found this helpful. I know that I didn't find a whole lot on this co-sleeper, like a whole lot of co uh, recent videos on this co-sleeper and it just seems something that was uh, rather affordable that would work really great for what I needed. We found it for $145 on Amazon, and that seems to be the cheapest place, Target being one of the higher places, and Walmart and Babies R Us being somewhere in the middle. Bye. Thank you for watching.